Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick review. I think I've talked about this a while back, but this is something we've been using again. Um, we've been using the Real Science for Kids um, science book. The pre-level one is what we have. I think it's now called the elementary level. But I just wanted to share these with you guys. Basically, this is a science program, um, and they've got three different levels. I think elementary, middle, I know there's those. I think there might be high school as well. But it takes the basic um, areas of science and breaks them up. So there's chemistry, physics, biology, geology, and astronomy. And the idea behind this is just that um, the author wanted to make science really easy and understandable for her own kids. She's a PhD in science. I'm not sure which field. But um, she kind of feels like the the if you have the building blocks of science then like everything kind of builds on that and it's easier to understand and um, so anyway I'm gonna link a video below actually of her explaining her theories behind writing it why she writes it whatever and it's not from a Christian or evolutionary perspective because you don't have to address either of those issues when you're just talking about the very basics of science. So it's just science. So whichever kind of curriculum you're looking at. But we got, the first one we got was chemistry. We got it a couple years ago, I think, and Samuel loved it. And we've been recently digging into the biology one again because we've been learning about plants and it explains things so well. So I'm gonna show you a little peek. I have the physics, chemistry, and biology. So I'll show you a look inside of all three of them. I believe you still can, but at the time we could get these in paperback or hardback. I got these um, on sale when, well this one we had before, but then I got these on sale when they renamed pre-level one into elementary, so they changed the books a little bit. But um, when you open them up, they have their table of contents, and every lesson is really short. So this is about atoms. And so you can see they're pretty short. 1.2 is just that right there. And 1.3, 1.4. And you can get, we have the CD with the experiments. Now one thing that I love about this book is that science experiments are really experiments. So you, the kids make a hypothesis about what is going to happen and test it and there's no um, outcome that they're supposed to get to prove anything. It's just really exploring. And if you want to check out, she's got a lot of the experiments for the chemistry level on, on video. So you can watch them or you can do them, but you can watch them to get an idea of what it is. And I felt like reading the chemistry one, Samuel loves the little illustrations that go along with it. The way that it's written is so easy to understand. I felt like I understand a whole lot more about chemistry than I ever did. But um, have you ever wondered if the moon is really made of green cheese? Have you ever thought the clouds might be made of cotton candy? Have you ever wanted to know what makes carrots orange or peas green? Have you ever wondered why Brussels sprouts couldn't taste more like sweet cherries or asparagus taste more like candy canes? Everything around us has a different shape or flavor or color because everything around us was designed with different atoms put together in different ways. Atoms are very small things we can see we can't see with only our eyes. The moon is not really made of green cheese. It's made of atoms that are found in rocks and dirt. Clouds are not made of cotton candy, but of atoms found in air and water. Carrots are orange because their atoms are arranged in a way that makes them orange. Peas are green because their atoms are arranged in a way that makes them green. Brussels sprouts and asparagus don't taste sweet like cherries or candy canes because the atoms inside Brussels sprouts and asparagus are not arranged in the way that um, in a way that makes them sweet. And so that's it. And so they're very basic. Like I said, you can get a lot more supplemental material to go with these. We have the experiments to go with this book. And then the summary, these are just the main points that you're wanting to get across. They're very basic and easy for for young children. Um, and this is the biology one. And well, then let me show you. In the chemistry one, it covers um, atoms, molecules, molecules meet, acids and bases, acids and bases react. Mixtures, 
unmixing food and taste, molecular change, and molecule chains and molecules in your body. So that's what's in the chemistry one. And then if we go to the biology, it has life, cells, a tiny city, food for plants, plant parts, growing a plant, protozoa, protozoa eat, butterflies, frogs, and our balanced earth. And this one we've been looking at, it's so cool because we've been learning about plants and growing plants and plant parts and all of that. So we're able to read here and get a little more, like it was neat because today we were learning about roots and the parts of plants. And so there's this very basic introduction of um, the different parts of plants, which Samuel could review, and what the roots do. And like I said, he loves these little comics that are in here and that really helps him remember and bring it to life. Um, this talks about the leaves and the stem and the flower, and even plants in the ocean, like plant plankton or zooplankton. And so, um, Anyway, again, the summaries, and I'm pretty sure you can get experiments with this too. We're using this as a supplement, so we've already got experiments going on, but this really helps on a very basic level to answer some of those questions. And then the same is true for the physics book. It looks much like the others, um, but this one has, what is physics, push and pull, kinds of energy, when things move, chemical energy, Electricity, moving electrons, magnets, light and sound, and saving energy. And um, again, you've got the very basics with the pictures. It's just written in such an easy way. You just wonder, like, why aren't all science books written this way? So I'm going to flip this around and tell you a little more. So when you go on their website, there's two ways that you can get this. You can get it so that you do unit studies on each of these kinds of sciences, or you can do them kind of spread out um, a little bit more. So they've got two different kinds of formats. There's the focus on, which would be a unit study with each type of science. And then they have, I think it's by grade, I'm not sure, but I will put a link to the website below. And like I said, there's lots of resources. And if you're looking for science for, um, a young child this is just I really really enjoy it. and I think even for older kids it takes all the boring hard difficult parts of science and it just makes it so much easier to grasp to understand and it makes it a whole lot less scary so I just wanted to share these resources with you it's so, such a great resource and I think for us we're probably going to for now just use them as references as we go through our own science and kind of pull out chapters here and there but at some point um, we may end up doing some of the focus on unit studies with these because they're just absolutely fantastic. So you should check those out. I'll leave the links below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I love getting your comments. I love getting your questions. So leave them below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.